Hey there, Heather Boyd Wire here. So today we're gonna to make some beautiful wire poppy earrings inspired by my dear friend, BB. What you're gonna need for this project are your tools, a round form, I'm just using a pen. You're gonna need earring hooks. I have some heart-shaped beads, glass beads. I have some little four millimeter black beads. And for the black wire, I'm using 24 gauge. The red wire and the green wire are both um, 20 gauge. So I'll start with the red wire. I have about 18 inches of the 20 gauge wire and I'm going to just start about three inches from the end and what I'm going to do to start is just take my round form and then just start forming the petals. So you're going to want to do like a heart shape so you're just going to like get this in and then go around and once you have the first one done, then you're gonna know the size for the other ones. A hack I do have is to make them both at the same time, but because I've already made the sample, I'm just going to use that as a guide. So what I wanna do is just to make sure the heart is about the same size and then bend it at about the same position. So just give it a little bend. Okay. And if you're not sure, you can bring it back and compare it again just to be sure. Yeah, if it's a little different, it's okay. So I'm just gonna start that shape. So now we have our heart shape and then basically we want to kind of trace it. So we have four hearts. So we're gonna go here and just get it about the same and then up with your round pliers and then around. So we're just gonna do four little red hearts. I actually previously did a video of a poppy, but it was just the red heart beads. It's an interesting evolution of the design because adding the wire just makes it a little bit larger as well. And my friend BB loves big dangling earrings. So uh, for her, they are perfect. I actually sent her a picture of my beaded ones, the tutorial, and uh, she was lukewarm about them. So <laughs> I knew that she wanted something a little bit bigger. So that's why I'm doing this design. So we're just gonna keep going. So we trace four of these hearts. This is our last one. I'm gonna bring this around and then we're gonna be able to spread them apart. This actually kind of reminds me of my design for the uh, Flower of Life. Uh, earrings, pendants, where you kind of just do like a shape and then you spread them apart after. So there we have the four hearts and then what you need to do is just kind of spread them apart. So start with the first one. This is the last wire. So what you want to do is kind of spread them in a way. So if we go like this, we're gonna make, it makes like a little loop thing there. So we're just gonna keep going around and pulling these apart. And then it's going to make like sort of the basis for our poppy, just around like that. So here's the basis for the poppy. And then what we want to do is we're actually going to take one of these and bend it up. So just like at a right angle here, okay? And then what I wanna do is actually take this other one and wrap it around here. So this one's up at a right angle. This other one we're gonna wrap around it. Now, if you're worried about it distorting, one of my hacks is just to take like this, the round pliers to hold it to start the bend. And that way it won't get distorted out of shape. So we're just gonna bring that around and make sure it's like catching that wire and just bring it around here. So we have that one here. We can bring it all the way around. And then what I wanna do is we can actually bend one of these one way and we can stick a heart on there. Okay, so we're gonna just stick our heart on there and then you can have a little compare to make sure it's going to be doing around the same thing. So, and then we're just going to bend this one like to the back here. Okay. So that's our first one here. And then this next one, we could bend this one up here and then add our 
next heartbeat. So we're just going to stick that one on here. And when you put the wire to the back, it's going to help so these don't flip around as well. So we're just going to hold that one in shape and then just kind of bend it to the back here. Okay, so we bend it to the back and then it's going to hold that like heart in shape there. And then we're just going to go straight over to the other side. Okay, just make sure it's about the same. Also, like you can compare it to see if it's doing more or less the same thing. I'm not going to worry too much about them being exact. So we're this is from the back. We're bending it towards the front. Okay, right towards the front. And then we're going to put our bead on it. So make sure you put it with the, the double side up. It's going to be, it's just sort of reflecting the shape of the poppy leaf or petal so that one's in there and then what you're going to have to do now is just bring it sort of down inside you can just bring it down towards there and then you can just kind of bend it so now I want to finish off this end so I'm just gonna while this wire is to the back I'm just gonna take this smaller end and just twist it all the way around and I'm actually gonna bring it back up to the front Okay, we're going to bring this because after we're going to attach the black wire. So we're just going to bring this one up to the front and just pull it right up so it's sticking to the front. And now we have our last uh, heart bead to put on. So this is going right over here. Bend it towards the front and then put on our last heart here. Stick it on there. So that one's right there. And then you can just take this red one. Like make sure it's sticking up. So now you're just going to wind this long end around this short end here just to finish it off. So just take this, pull it around, okay, and then you're going to cut it flush in there. Just get it nicely trimmed, push it down a bit. And then what you need is for this one, you just need a teeny little loop in there that you could stick your black wire through. So I find the easiest way to do that is just go ahead and cut this to about a quarter inch. You really don't want it too big. And then you're going to take your round pliers and just kind of pull it back and then twist it around. See if you can see it on a the side view we're just going to make we're basically just making a little loop that sticks up so just bring that in so now you have like a little loop that we're going to stick the black wire through you also want to make sure this is centered because your black beads are going to go around the center so you don't need much of the black wire just three or four inches this is 24 gauge wire and you'll start by just sticking it through that loop here okay and we'll just stick it through and what you can do to start is just make sure one end is fixed. So just turn the one end, do a full turn around just to get it fixed in place and then push it to the back. Okay, you're just gonna pull that black wire to the back. We'll deal with it later. And then we're going to put our five little beads in the middle for the center of the poppy. So we're just going to do these five beads. These are glass beads and they're four millimeter. If you don't have four millimeter round beads, you could probably just use black seed beads for this. That would be fine too. So now we have our five beads and basically you just want to wind them in a circle. So just surround the little red center part. Just bring it all the way around so it makes like this circular part around the um, around the, the metal piece. Wiggle them around if you need it more kind of centered. And then this one, what I'm going to do to start is just wind it around underneath. Okay, we're just going to wind it around. And then if you need it a little more secure that it's going to stay in place, just bring it down through the center, just down through the center and back to the back. So just bring it right down pull it and just pull it. So now you have these two ends that are at the back. This is secured in place. And then just take these two ends. Easiest way to do it is just crisscross them and then twist them. Just twist them around like that. If you need your pliers to twist a little more, you can. Not too much. You don't want them to snap, but it just keeps them 
securely together and then you can trim it so there's like a little bit that you can catch and just bend around just so the raw ends aren't showing so that's nice and smooth and there you already have your super cute little poppy now what i did with the sample was i just kind of bent these in a little bit to make it a little bit more 3d careful if your hearts are fragile you don't want them to snap but this is really makes it look more interesting and 3d then at this point you have two choices you can go all out and make the leaves which i did on this one actually bb preferred them with the leaves so i'll show you how to do that but if you don't want to do the leaves it's also fine just to do a little stick with green beads to represent the um, the leaves and the and the stems so this one just to show you the difference so this would be just with the green wire and the beads and this would be with the stem so you choose what you want to do this is uh, this is self-explanatory but for the uh, leaves we're just going to take about a 12 inch piece of wire and then what I'm going to do to start is just leave a couple inches at the top to do the um, the little loop and then I'm going to bend it okay we're just going to bend it back here bend it in half and then form the leaf so just like that and then this one like that crisscross these and then we're going to just twist them together a couple of times like that that and then we're going to go ahead and do some more so we're going to go down here at about half an inch just going to start forming the leaf and then bend this back back here if you have another way that you like to make leaves it's fine sometimes it's hard to hold that so just grab your flat pliers and then you just bend it around a couple times and then we can keep going with this so we're just going to have a couple of there and then this two we could form another one like at about half an inch I really would the first one was just a super sample so I didn't really keep track of exactly what I was doing but it's nice to do an odd number of leaves just because it's um, aesthetically more aesthetically pleasing but uh, you know you could do these leaves any way you want and I'm going to do this one to that side so kind of alternate the sides a little bit here and then we're going to do another one and then we'll figure out how they're going to look so we're going to go this way these don't actually look like accurate poppy leaves um, but it's art right so you can just make it look exactly how you want these almost look like more like vine leaves but I'm cool with that and BB loved them so that's all that matters <laughs> so we're going to just twist this a few times perfect and then we have one more so bring this one down I have a feeling this isn't going to look much like the first one but I think it's going to be fine and sometimes you can do some little finishing touches at the end to make them a little more similar so I'm not going to worry too much about it and then we're just going to twist this a couple of times around and then at that point you can grab your piece just to compare it and to see so at the top we're going to need a hook to put the earring hook in like a little loop so we're going to bend it back and around here you could do other flowers like this too you don't just have to do a poppy you can use other colors uh, i like the idea it's just nice and bright cheerful colorful so we're going to do clip this one yeah her kids are going to love it in her daycare they're quite young i think her kids are like three or something so they're going to love them so now we're just going to double check that yeah these aren't quite the same but you know it's fine so we're just going to bring that one around here we can always tighten up the the, the bends a little bit to make them more matchy matchy but as long as they're more or less the same length so i'm just going to check the length bend it around here but they're actually pretty good so nice the brain has a memory and it just you know does things the right way even when you don't think they're going to Plus, I've been doing this for 30 years, so I do have quite a bit of practice. So here's like 
the loop at the bottom and now this one I'm just going to remove the one with the beads because that's not what we want to do. So now what I'm going to do is just take this and loop it on here and then I'm just going to have to bend this in shape. At that point too you can also double check to see if they're more or less the same size and we are going to twist the end and then we'll be pretty well done. It's, it's a pretty easy design once you know how to do it. For sure the first one always takes a lot of time. So there we go. So perfect. So we've got that and now we have our hooks, our handy dandy hooks. So we're going to stick that one on there and close it up. And then this one open it up. I always use surgical steel hooks. Um, they're hypoallergenic and um, I like them. They're nice and solid. There we have our little poppy earrings for BB and she's gonna love them. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire work, be sure to join the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club on Facebook. And also, if you want to check out my wire work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wire, wedding cake toppers, and funky jewelry. I do have a mailing list, so if you'd like to join my mailing list, I'll link it up below and I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook. And brand new, I have a new art channel called Heather Boyd Art. So if you're interested in mixed media, uh, watercolor, inks, uh, drawing, all kinds of things where I combine wire with art, be sure to check out my new channel. I'll link it up below as well. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you the next time.